All right, guys, welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. Today, I'm just rolling with the punches, trying not to get hit too often. It's a good way to live life. Um, did some of this stuff. That'll be in a video soon enough. I've got a number of projects or pieces of the project pertaining to this that'll be put together probably into one, so stay tuned for that. But had access to a bobcat, so I'm actually off in the woods today. And while I'm there, I thought, you know what? Let's use this bobcat because it's a lot easier than me lifting um, rocks individually and then putting them on the trailer and then having to lift them back off the trailer to make a pile somewhere else, then moving them from there up to the garden area and other places I'm working with them. Um, here in the Ozarks, there is a lot of rocks and um, some people really don't like that. I just choose to see everything kind of as a blessing, as a potential um, resource. So when I get back in here and I see how many rocks there are, and there's just piles of small stuff. Up here, there's a pile of big stuff. I'm gonna use them to continue making my raised beds, working with my garden. Some of this stuff is way big. Other ones are up in here. But while I work on this, I'm just gonna be grabbing these, bringing them up to the bobcat here, filling that bucket, and then taking them up to my garden area. But we're also, because we like creatures and creation and everything that's out here in the world, we're also going to be looking for uh, various herps and stuff. So, you know, we could find worm snakes, ringneck snakes, pygmy rattlesnakes. Who knows what's under some of these? Probably some beautiful lizards. So we're just gonna kinda... Brown a brown skink just went under that one. Monster truck says a little brown skink went under there. So as I'm working through this, I'm gonna film a little bit and we'll see if we can find some cool creatures too. And the cool thing is like here on the forest floor, these rocks are a nice natural habitat. Um, for a lot of these different creatures. A lot of those creatures are beneficial creatures we like having. We like enlisting them in our organic pest control posse, having creatures like that up in the garden, and they can help take care of some of the pests, and we can uh, receive the blessing of not only seeing them on a regular basis. I love walking up to like harvest like one of my uh, baby fat achacha cucumbers off the trellis, and there's a prairie skink running around, you know, on the trellis, up there in my plants. Like, I love that. So we get the blessing of seeing those animals, checking them out on a regular basis. We keep our property as a habitat that works for them. It's just, you know, they don't really care if they're in a random pile out here in the woods or if they're in a border for a raised bed. They don't care. It's shelter for them. It's a habitat for them. It's a home for them. And then if the food that they're able to get is the um, undesirable pests that we have up in our garden, we like that, don't we, son? Yep. So we get that benefit, two of them helping, you know, in our organic pest control posse. So we'll let you know as soon as we find something. Check this one out guys, I found our first herp right under here. Whoa. This guy is a little toad. So toads are cool. We definitely find a lot of them on our land. We uh, frequently see them at night. They were actually breeding in the um, a pond that we had, a little puddle in our driveway. So pretty cool little guy. It's not focusing very well, but that's the first one. Let's check them out. So along with these rocks, we'll be taking this little toad up to the garden and letting him move up there, live up there. Um, a lot of times they come out at night too, and that's pretty cool because then they're able to get kind of some different um, creatures that they can be gobbling up that the um, you know lizards or other creatures may not that are more uh, diurnal. So a nocturnal creature, pretty cool. And um, what else these guys? I don't know, these guys eat slugs? A lot of times those come out at night too, so pretty cool. But an opportunistic predator, nice little amphibian. Happy to see him, and we'll get him up to the garden with these rocks. So first load is loaded. Some of these are rather large. I'm glad not to have to move them around too many times. Just put them in here, drive them up. Probably use these as part of the border for um, one of our hugel mounds. And I'm also gonna be doing a, redoing a lot of our raised beds for a number of reasons. Um, but I want larger rocks there. And then the smaller rocks, I'm gonna make a, uh, a rock wall border 
on the west side of our garden and there's a number of reasons for that i'll show you guys more about that later but we're going to get this first big load up and put our toad up there too right This is one of those things too when you have an opportunity like being able to fill that big thing and just being able to dump it wherever you want as opposed to throwing stuff on a trailer and then um, having to pull it all off the trailer physically. Um, I'm going to get some of this firewood I cut out of here too because uh, there's really no reason not to. got to be wise. Well, that thing's full, but look what we found on the way. See this closer guy, this big one? He was hiding in the wood pile. This is the one we brought from over there. So you can see we already got some nice toads in the area. We're gonna let them go in the bushes here by the pond. Why don't you take them down there, quick son? In the bushes by the pond. Right up there under that lemon balm and stuff, yeah. So they'll hop up in there, find some places to be and continue to do their job, right? Mm -hmm. I like it when they're on our team. Well guys, there it is, our second species. Center screen, this is a little cricket frog. So cricket frogs, this one's pretty much brown, but they can be brown with green, or brown with like an orangish, and they do get some nice color uh, variation. This one's just a little one. They only get like an inch, inch and a half. This one's about an inch and a quarter. It's a fully mature one. And these are plentiful on our property. We're definitely blessed to see them. They're a smaller frog. They're uh, mostly terrestrial. They will jump in water, but a lot of times you're gonna see them out here like on the forest floor where if you look around, there's not really water here. There is a pond off across the fence line there, but it's just hanging out here. So pretty cool little guy, and they are also pretty quick. There you are, little buddy. Cool. We'll see if we can't find a snake or a salamander or a lizard. We have seen a couple little brown skinks, but they kind of quickly disappeared, so we'll see what else we can find. Well, did we just find our first snake? Check this out. Monster truck's got this guy here. Look at that. And truth be told, no, that's actually just a night crawler. There are a lot of these in our property. What do you got there? Step behind me, boy. He's got a, a little worm too, but there's a lot of night crawlers in our property. We can find them almost nightly crawling around. This one was under a rock. You wanna save it for fishing or feed it to the fish in our pond? for fishing, I think. Okay, okay. So we'll get a thing and we'll put it in the uh, fridge. But we got another load. I'm probably gonna have to accomplish a couple other things. Um, 
Just wanted to do a bit of this quickly while we had the opportunity. I gotta go get some gravel probably with this thing too to fill in a couple holes I got. So, a couple amphibians. We didn't even see any reptiles. You never know what you're gonna find. You find more when you look. And uh, not everything's an exciting, amazing time. But if we can have uh, a little bit of fun, check out some creatures while we get some work done, makes our life a little better, a little more enjoyable for us. So we'll see you next time. I gotta get back to work. Papa out. Mm -hmm.